Okay, here's a tutorial on using the EXS sampler in Logic. I have a software instrument track here, empty, and I'm going to go to the instrument slot and load the EXS24. It's right here. I'm going to use a stereo instance of it. All right. Uh, when you play keys on your keyboard, you get this sine wave right now. Basically, the sampler is empty. There are factory sounds in the sampler. If you click in this black window here, that's how you access the menu. And it's these sounds here. There's acoustic pianos and basses and keyboards and synths. Uh, a lot of the uh, real instrument sounds you find in the uh, sampler. And then all this stuff below, these are, are my sample instruments. Okay, uh, before we get into loading our own samples, there is a setting that you need to make uh, in your Logic Preferences. Go here to Logic Pro X. Go to Preferences and make sure uh, when you click on Advanced Tools, do that, that all of these boxes are checked. That will give you the ability to bring samples in and edit. Okay, so we have an EXS instrument. I need to get some content. Uh, I'm going to add an audio file to this project. Add audio file. And since we're working on the uh, Katy Perry track, let's just bring in that acapella. There it is here. I'll say add, done, and that shows up in the audio bin. I'm going to drag this into the session. It's going to create an audio track for me. And here is the Katy Perry acapella. All right, so we've all seen this. You're so hypnotizing. Okay, so here's just an idea. For example, the word your at the very beginning. I want to chop that out and I want to put it in the sampler so I can manipulate it. So I'm going to really zoom in, going control option here to get that magnifier. I'll just keep moving this out of the way. That's a breath, and that's the word your with another breath afterwards. Yes. Okay, so I want to chop this word out. I'm going to use my marquee tool, which is right now set as my command click tool. So just hold my command key on the Mac keyboard and then swipe across, click, and that cuts. And I'm going to just select and delete and delete. And I, I just have the word your. Yeah. Right, and I can tidy this up even more by putting crossfades at the beginning and end to avoid any kinds of pops. Key command there again is shift and control and your cursor changes to a fade tool. You just drag inside the region to the outside and that will put crossfades in and you can adjust them. Now I've got this. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good enough. I'm going to zoom out and now check this out. I can work right here inside Logic and drop this sample into the sampler. You have to open up the sample window and it's this button here. You say edit and you get this window. All right. I'm just going to left click and hold and drag and drop like this. Now what this has done is it's placed the sample all the way across the keyboard. This blue line here represents this audio waveform. It's stretched all the way across the keyboards. So when I play low keys on my keyboard, now I've selected the EXS24 track. Okay, so you can see that it's pitched now from low to high. C3 is the root key pitch. Take a look at this information here where I'm pointing. Okay. Yeah. Now I can set this sample just to trigger on C3 and that's that's what I want to do in this case. So I go to these key ranges and just pull these up until it reaches C3 on the low end and then pull this down until it reaches C3 on the high end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now 
I can play other keys on my keyboard and they're not triggering the sample. Yeah, yeah. It's only the C3. I could reverse this sample. Hey, hey. Right, so you can have lots of fun with this thing. Um, ways to use this now, of course, you can do stutter effects. Yeah, 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 yeah. And anything that you can think of. Okay, that's the basics of chopping a sample, bringing it into the EXS, and then key mapping it across the keyboard. Yeah. To save this instrument, uh, this is a real important uh, feature that you have to follow in Logic. You want to say uh, instrument and then save as. Leave this going into the sampler instrument folder, and I'll just call this uh, Katie, your something simple like that. Okay, it saves this as an EXS instrument. Now, I want to go to my Logic Session and show you. This is an important feature now. I haven't saved this project yet. I'm going to do that right now, but I want to point out that this box now needs to be checked. EXS instruments and samples need to be copied. Otherwise, if you closed this session and opened it up again, your sample will be gone. So get in the habit of uh, doing that also. So I could save this project as Katy Perry. And now I'm safe. Okay, so thinking back now to the step input keyboard tutorial that I did, uh, you can use that same technique with this sample that you have loaded on your EXS track. I'll go to open the step input keyboard here, window. You can just play the keys here, choose your note value, and it's going to create MIDI data here. I'm just going to close this window to get it out of the way. Like this. Yeah. 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 Change it to eighth notes. Yeah. Sixteenths. Uh, you get the idea. All right. There you go.